former local government minister, let me ask you this. What would you prefer as a solution to our perennial flooding? Recently, it's been very um, worrying, and we think our situation has even gone worse. Well, I think what we lack is the political will to execute bylaws that have been promulgated by the various metropolitan municipal and district assemblies. Mm -hmm and also flouting of building regulations. You know the challenge we are facing. One of the challenges we are facing with the, with the intensity of the flooding situation is the fact that the green belts that were reserved in several parts of the city where houses were not supposed to be built over the past few years have all been converted into development areas. You see the motorway, alongside the motorway, from the tow boot, across side of the tow boot, uh, from the East Legon Police Station, mm -hmm. all the way there were green belts. No development was taking place there. Then even around Abatwa here, Abatwa here, all the way to where they have uh, built uh, the uh, Toyota um, uh, service center. Mm. And then along the line there were all green belts, which were not supposed to be developed into either industrial area or housing development. Again, when we are going towards Ahimensa, and you look up the hill, all the way to Peduasi Lodge, we're all green belt. Today, the, all the forest cover is being removed, mm -hmm. and people are putting up houses there. Okay. So the least rains cannot be contained by the soil because the soil has been exposed yeah and even these houses when we build them we do concrete pavement and so the rain waters cannot settle and go to the ground so yeah. they have to find their way out so if we don't do something about this and we continue i mean on the way to dodo mm. from a mm. police station yeah the right side, the left side were all green belts. Okay. Now filling stations have been constructed and the whole place has been developed. Mm. So we have destroyed all the green belts which were supposed to give us some level of protection. That is why I am very, very surprised at the news of declassification of the Achimota forest because mm -hmm. perhaps it is the only forest area that we have that could save us from environmental catastrophe mm -hmm. because all the carbon monoxide and others that we generate, it is the forest that will absorb it and then uh, generate some uh, uh, oxygen for us to be able to balance the, have that ecological balance that we need to survive mm -hmm. as human beings.